Right, let's put this into perspective. Masood Halili is an Afghan diplomat, a writer, and former advisor to Ahmed Shah Massoud, as well as President Rabani. He joins me now to discuss the impact of American policies in Afghanistan over the past two decades. Uh, good to have you on the show, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, on September the 9th, 2001, just two days before the 9-11 attacks, you were sitting next to Ahmed Shah Massoud when uh, two al-Qaeda terrorists posing as journalists set off a bomb placed in their camera. Ahmed Massoud was assassinated. You survived, and we all know that two days later, Al-Qaeda attacked uh, America. What are your thoughts on the last 20 years? It seems that sort of we've come full circle. Well, uh, thank you very much. When Commander Massoud died two months before, or when he was killed by Al-Qaeda, two months before he was in Paris, sir, and he loudly said one sentence. I'm fighting against terrorism, against Al-Qaeda, not just in Afghanistan, also for the world. Wake up, fasten your seat belt. Soon they will reach your doors. And it was 9-11 that they reached the door and hit it very hardly. What did he know? Well, he was receiving uh, information. He was the commander of Afghanistan, and he was indeed getting information that they and Qaeda will be more active in Europe, not particularly in America or in New York. But he knew that. This is why two months before in France, he said that Al-Qaeda is not just for Afghanistan. That is for the world is starting, originating from Afghanistan, coming from Pakistan by the help of some people or ISI there. Masud Ali, tell me this. Do you think that um, groups like um, Al-Qaeda uh, and now um, ISIS-K or Daesh-K, um, which is sort of uh, showing a presence in the region, can be defeated by military means alone? It's hard because they are launching a guerrilla warfare. That is difficult. And secondly, they are backed, armed, financed by another country or many other countries. So we have to mobilize people against them. We have to back and support moderate groups in the world and particularly see where the fire is. If you stop the fire there, if you can, which is Pakistan, you will help the regional countries and the world. Because if you go on and fight against them, they go on too. Their mindset is like that. They did it in the last 30 years, 25 years, and they will do it again. Support moderate groups against Taliban against Al-Qaeda and against those super fanatics. And when you reach to the people of the countries who are fighting against them, work economically, politically, and go on. And then they will be destroyed. I understand uh, that tactic, and that's sort of possible to an extent that if you're in the country, you're out of the country. You finished the longest uh, war in your country's history. You're not there. So how do you do that? Well, we mobilized people, number one. If you have people, you have everything in your hand. If you don't have people, you're lost. What people want, trust. Why? Because they want their survival in the war against the Soviets. People stood spontaneously, and then we gradually mobilized them. In a book that I have written, Whispers of the War, most of what we have done in Afghanistan during the war against the Soviets, it is indeed written there. And in the Whispers of the War, I have there, long time before, warned the world that when the war in Afghanistan is over, that will be over, be with us until we reach to the end. And the end is not yet reached, sir. 
Masoud well, Halili, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour. I do appreciate uh, you coming on, your time, and your analysis.